statue. What is it? It's like a king. A king, possibly, but not a statue. But he's not. He should be up there, then. Maybe. Why isn't he up there? Look at the floor. That's him. This is what Cyril was following. The growing thing. Is that him? Hatched from the bauble on a tree, grew to this size in less than an hour. Oh. Whoosh. This is a military engagement. There's no crying in military engagements. Oh. Corporal Vengar, are you? I'm fine, sir. Female civilian. I'm thinking of the visual. Nobody's looking. Doesn't mean there's no visual. That's exactly what nobody's looking means. It means there's no visual. <gasps> I'm sorry, sir. These people are weird. You want me to shoot her, sir? Oh, this visual's deteriorating, Shut sir. Shut up. Where are you from? England. 1941. 1941. <gasps> oh, she knew exactly what to do. Oh. Crying's ever so useful, isn't it? Pure life force. Just singing. Beautiful. Doesn't it make you want to cry? Cry when you're happy. This is like Star Wars. Is it some kind of cockpit? They're tying Man themselves up. Pilot. <laughs> Why did you say God help my children? This forest is about to be harvested. What does that mean? Harvested? That wasn't me. It doesn't matter. What is that thing? What's wrong with him? Is he dead? It's okay. He's just unconscious. Like the life force is leaving the forest. The trees are screaming. Can't you hear? No, but you can. You're connected to them. Okay, picking up life signs about half a mile away. Can we go to them? Can, can we move this thing? Not train, Mum. Those two are. I can't trust them. And I can't drive the platform, Mum. They just escaped the Matrix. It's not a crown. It's a relay. They're turning your brother into a lifeboat. We waited, and you came. So, you've got an escape plan? Why aren't you escaping? The child is weak. You mean he's a child? <laughs> no, he is weak. The forest cannot live in him. But there are others. There certainly are. Cyril. You are not the one. You are weak. Watch, it's gonna be the mom. It's gonna be the mom. It's burning you. It's sort of tingly. Tingly? She's strong, but she is young. It's gonna be the mom. Where's mommy? She's coming. You know she's coming. Watch her run through the acid rain. Comes, doesn't she? Not this time. Oh, she's right there. She's driving that whole thing by herself. Forget what it's called. I'm trying to make a Star Wars reference. Oh, he's trying to see the ring. This is marvelous. Oh, this is really quite wonderful. <sighs> yes, I can hear you. I'm perfectly fine, thank you. Fine? You've got a whole world inside your head. Huh. I know. Isn't it? One can't imagine being a forest, then suddenly one can. Stupid me. Stupid. Oh, doctor. Do you get it, Cyril? No. Lily, you do, don't you? No. Of course you do. Think about it. Weak and strong. It's a translation. Translated from the base code of nature itself. You and I, Cyril, we're weak, but she's female. <laughs> Where are we? 
technically we're not anyone. Time vortex. We've flown into the time vortex. Yeah. You've got what you wanted. Those idiots down there can burn your old home and you'll be safe out here. But these people helped you and they're in my protection. Now help them. And look, and I can't feel the way you do. Not anymore. Between you and me. Really need to feel it much. Everything about home that you miss until you can't bear it. Until you almost burst. Until it hurts. Is that what you mean, caretaker? Until it hurts. Home in time for Christmas. <laughs> There we go, look, we look, we can, we can just like see them time traveling. The time vortex, your mother is flying a forest. Daddy, my Reg. How did you meet? You and Reg, tell me how you met. Be careful, what does that mean? Be careful. He followed me home. I, I worked in the dairy. Oh, he used to follow me home. But father, he looks so young. He said he'd keep on following me till I married him. That's the only way to go home. I thought they would have went home and he'd be there, but that's kind of breaking the uh, laws of time. Oh, they're getting me a little emotional here. <gasps> oh, maybe not. Oh, my eyes got a little. My eyes got a little watery. But my eyes got a little watery. Oh. Oh, they're communicating with each other. The forest has gone from your head too, hasn't it? Where is it now? The life force of the whole forest has transmuted itself into a sub etheric wave band of light, which can exist as the the, 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 the souls of the trees are out among the stars mm. and they're shining. Why are you holding a telegram? But what does it say? Please just tell us. Tell us. I imagine you'd prefer to be alone. Oh, okay. That was a fun adventure. A few nights ago, your father, who, as you know, was the best of men and the bravest of pilots, was flying home for Christmas. Unfortunately, he was flying on a night where there was no moon, and because it was very cloudy, there were no stars. Before you go any further, I think you better come and look. He's gonna be here because of. See? Oh, there were stars that night. There were stars that night. See? I knew something different had happened. Are they. <laughs> He's in the time vortex? Shortcut. I really thought they were gonna. I thought I really thought he was gonna die like that. Of course, it's you, isn't it? What? My spaceman angel with his head on backwards. How do I look? Uh, right way round. Honey, she didn't know that. Now the last time I saw you, I went back the next day, but the police box had gone. Yeah, you want to see how it's done? No. <laughs> I want you to stay for Christmas, please. Oh. Ah, well, I don't know if he does all that. People to see. But they all think I'm dead. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, wait. My boss, do, its thing. It's really cool. do they still think you're dead? No one should be alone at Christmas. I'm confused. I I'm, really I'm confused of how last episode kind of ended, I think. I don't remember. You can't let them think that you're dead. Not at Christmas. Oh, okay. If that is more carol singers, I have a war pistol. Not more. A war pistol? A oh, water pistol. I thought she said war pistol. Christmas miracle. Look at Amy. Sure. How long? How long has? Two years. Again? <laughs> Not dead then. We done that. Oh. <laughs> We're about to have Christmas dinner. Joining us. Is River there? If it's no trouble, there's a place set for you. But you didn't know I was coming. Why would you set me a place? Oh, because we always do. Oh. It's Christmas, you moron. He's looking like he's looking like he does in Legends of Tomorrow. Rory. What's wrong with you? Is he crying? <laughs> He's crying because they set a, a plate for him every year. Has he ever done that before? Look, he like these are the first people that I feel like genuinely that he genuinely really, really, really loves. Amy and Rory. 
Probably not the first people, but, you know. Okay. I love how Amy is still second credited. All right. So that was this um special. This special was I I didn't I didn't care for it too much. I I yeah, I, I didn't I, I didn't like it all that much to be honest. Out of the last special the last special versus this special last special was so much better. Maybe I just didn't get the references, you know, I, I don't understand the whole beginning. Um it just opened up pretty weird. Like it opened up with the whole spaceship exploding, and the doctor had to leave the spaceship and fell through Earth. What was the point of that? Like it was just some things that I just didn't understand all too much. I didn't understand the references of the lemonade thing with the spout. I mean, that's not really big of a, that that much big of a deal. But maybe if I understood those little references, calling him the caretaker, calling him all that, if I would have understood those references, I probably would have liked it more. But I didn't enjoy it because I didn't really understand. Like, I don't even like Narnia or whatever this is basing off of. I like the Christmas Carol. So the reason why I liked last special is because I really liked the Christmas, a Christmas Carol. I don't really like the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe all too well. So maybe I just didn't. That's why I didn't like this one. Um, no, they did have their moments. Like, I actually almost, I, I almost teared up at that point where the dad, where we saw the dad die for the second time. I almost did tear up at that one. Um, but, you know, we did have our moments where it was actually pretty good. Um, the whole ending is actually really good. <laughs> I've always said this about Doctor Who, but no matter how the episode is, like, no matter if the episode is bad or good, they have a really good ending. Like, the ending is really, really good, no matter what the rest of the episode was like. Um, so the ending of this episode was very good. You know, we got Amy and Rory. They got their time to shine in the special. And we um have the doctor finding a family for the first time, maybe. I mean, these two people, I think these two are my favorite companions so far. Dawn is at a close second. Um, I, Yeah, I think so far my favorite companions are Amy, Rory, Amy and Rory, and then Donna. Um, But yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like Matt Smith is perfect for Amy and Rory. And then David Tennant was perfect for Donna. So that's why, uh, yeah, David Tennant was not perfect for Rose. Christopher was perfect for Rose. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't want to talk too much about this special just because I didn't enjoy it all too much. And I don't want to say, I don't, like, I enjoyed it. I just didn't enjoy it that much. So I don't want to go on and talk about the reasons why I didn't enjoy it all that much. I just, I would much rather say the reasons I did enjoy it. I, I enjoyed the ending. They had their moments, but all in all. I don't care. I, I didn't care for it all too much. Um, but yeah, we are going to be continuing season seven with the first episode titled Asylum of the Daleks. Let's see how season seven is going to be. And let's see how my time is going to be because you know why? Because we have finished Torchwood. We are not watching Torchwood anymore. And Sarah Jane is on a break. Into the foreseeable future. So we are just going to be focusing on Doctor Who for now. It's been like a year. Since I've been able to watch Doctor Who. By itself. Like with nothing. To watch with it. So I am so excited for that. I get to watch. I get to watch. I'm planning on hopefully catching up. Sometime in the summer. That's my goal. To catch up in the summer. Um. So yeah. I'm excited for season 7. Season 7 is also. Season 7 is Matt Smith's last season. And the reason it just feels so short because it took me forever to watch seasons two to four and two, three and four is the same as five, six and seven. So they're giving us three years with well, they're giving us three years with Matt Smith, but they gave us a whole lot more years with um, David Tennant just because of all those specials and all the breaks and pauses they took. Um, so it just felt like I was with David Tennant way more than I was with Matt Smith. So let me cherish. I'm going to cherish the season because this is his last season. Because I, I know season eight we get Peter Peter Capaldi, um, which is also going to be a very great thing of when I start watching this live because I won't really know all that. I mean, I still don't know like anything of Doctor Who. I just know, I just knew David Tennant, of course, and then I knew um, which was the episode that I that I that I saw before. Oh, and I knew the the episodes. So these are the episodes that let me talk about this real quick before I leave. 
these are the episodes that I really, really did know before I even started reacting. I knew I'll uh, fear her because I had watched that before. I knew um I knew the whole thing of um Vincent Van Gogh and the Doctor. Um, I didn't know the whole plot, but I knew that there was an episode like that, and I knew that he went back. I know he went to the future and saw his art in a museum. I knew about that because of TikTok. I still cried. And I know about Rosa, the episode Rosa Parks or Rosa or whatever with uh the 13th Doctor. I know about that one as well. Um, I don't know what's going to... I don't know what the plot is, but I do know that the 13th Doctor goes to America and goes to like Rosa Parks or whatever. I do know those. So those were like the only three episodes that I know. So we got one more episode that I really 100% kind of know the idea. But again, I don't even really know what's going on. So uh, that might be season season 12 or 11 or 13. I don't know one of them. But I'm just excited to get caught up. Like, I don't want to rush through this at all. Like, I'm very excited to see the, the, the season 7, season 8, season 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I just really do want to get caught up by the summer. I really do want that. Um. Anyway, let's go on. We're going to be watching Season 7. I We're going to go on hard with Doctor Who. I really want to go on hard with Doctor Who. So yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.